What's up guys, it's Zach or Spec here today, and I am bringing you another video of our Chilling in Champs series. Uh, as you saw, probably saw at the last end of our last video, uh, we're right around 3,500 trophies, and this video is going to be carrying me down to the 3,300 range. And uh, so far, I've been finding a lot of good loot, as you can see in this base right here, a Town Hall Snipe, which is awesome, which means you don't have to worry about doing the 50%, which is increasingly difficult because we don't have any heroes right now. Um, as you can see, there's over 800,000 total loot available in this base, and I'm just going to drop my balloons and hounds in on the line, I guess. Um, single target in front of the tower there is going to be easy to take out with my balloons. And my minions are going to be sweeping up behind, taking out that gold storage on the left, as well as the elixir storage on the right. Um, looks like those minions are also going to be able to get the gold storage on the right, which is going to get me up to about over 300,000 gold in this raid. Which, to a lot of people, might not seem like a whole ton of loot, but when you think about it, I have 180,000 each loot bonus that I get from standing in this town hall here with these two minions. And they're also going to go ahead and grab that builder's hut for the two star on the well upgraded town hall 10. Um, this is going to be about two seconds left. They're going to run around. I'm just going to end the battle here. So we got over th about 300,000 of each. Rounding that up to with the 180,000, close to like a 900,000 total loot raid, which is actually really good. Um, so here, again, I was a little lower in trophies, and we're finding guys in the Masters League right now um, that are farming and tend to have a lot more loot. So this is a Town Hall 9, which you would have never seen higher up, and a Snipe. So we've got that one star, we've got that win, we've got that loot bonus secured. Now I'm going to go ahead and just throw in uh, my Hounds and Loons and kind of surround the base with my minions because we're really trying to get really far into this base because it is a town hall line and we don't have inferno towers to worry about um a couple air bombs flying up i'm gonna go ahead and throw down a rage bell right in the middle and that should get rid of those two expos and we should be able to clean up the majority of this base now normally with heroes a three star on town hall nine should not be that big of an issue especially if i play it out right and if that's my goal um, here, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get three stars because there's that last air defense over at the left, but my balloons are going to be working their way around destroying that wizard tower and hopefully that archer tower so that my minions can pick up that last, or that third gold storage on the right there, um, bringing our total gold up to about 260,000, 270,000, um, which again with the bonus will make that a 450,000 gold raid which would be fantastic. So we had a little bit of crowd of minions in the bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and speed through them getting destroyed. Uh, looks like we're going to get this up to about an 83% two star. Um, yeah, complete destruction. We only missed one of each storage, which would have been helpful. But again, also, we got 2,400 Dark Elixir, um, plus the bonus makes it a 3,600 Dark Elixir raid, uh, which is extremely important because I am trying to get up my Dark Elixir, so as soon as my King and Queen are done in three days, I'll be able to put my King down to level 20 again. So here we have a Town Hall kind of on the outside. It's going to be easy accessible for that one star. Again, over 800,000 loot available, plus 3,000 Dark Elixir. Um, this is a Town Hall 10 with multi-target Inferno Towers. It makes it just that much more difficult to get to that loot. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and throw in my balloons and funnel them towards the middle. I placed a lot more in the middle um, of my spread so that they can get towards the middle of the base, destroy that Inferno Tower and that Expo, and my minions, minions are going to be able to get in and destroy three of the gold storages and uh, get a little bit of that Dark Elixir. Um, this is not the best raid, but again, if we're going for gold, 300,000 gold plus a bonus, it's almost a 500,000 gold raid, and obviously we need that gold for walls, because walls suck, and I've got like 60 of them left or whatever. Here's another Town Hall 10 with about 400,000 of each plus 3,600 Dark Elixir. Um, the difference here is that a lot of this is going to be in the mines and pumps instead of just the uh, storages. So as you can see, I'm spreading my minions out pretty widely around the outside of the base uh, in order to get as much of that loot from the mines and pumps as possible. Um, my balloons are going to be finally working their way into the center of the base and taking out a few defenses um, before eventually getting shot down. We actually did pretty well destroying this base. We're already at 56%. And uh, we've gotten pretty much all of the gold, uh, except for 70,000, which is pretty good. And we've gotten a decent chunk of Dark Elixir. 
Uh, at this point, I'm just going to let my minions run around the base a little bit more and see if we can get any more loot. And uh, also, we don't want to be dipping in trophies too much, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let my two minions here that are chilling on the town hall finish it out. Um, as you can see, the expo in the Inferno Towers ran out <laughs> during the raid, so that obviously helped my cause a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through these two minions here. They're going to destroy this town hall, giving us a two-star on this pretty decent upgraded town hall 10. 322,000 gold, 250,000 elixir. Not a bad raid, especially with the bonus. So here we are, guys. I'm at about 5.2 million elixir. This is after about like one raiding session in about six hours. Um, going for gold, I got up to about actually this wasn't even that much. It was, it was probably like four hours or so um, with boosting barracks. Uh, I boost one barracks and one dark barracks miss well factory. So here we go. We're gonna be able to upgrade. Um, six, wa five walls here, so that's two down, uh, third one, three walls, again, you can see how painstakingly slow this process is, four walls, and I think we're gonna grab one more wall with the elixir right there, which is gonna put us up to, you know, 60 or so walls left, you can see we're, we're working on it, um, new farming video coming out in the next couple of days, gonna be awesome, gonna fill up the gold storages, and look forward to that video as well as a new 2000 Max Troop Attacking, thank you guys so much for watching.